Trucks carrying solid waste find their way into the Ndoran dump site every day, offloading more than 2,000 tons of waste each day. Despite the dump site having been declared full in 1996, dumping continues. Solid waste management in cities and towns across the country is a common feature which requires urgent interventions, according to environmentalists. In Evasha, however, the story is different. We find members of Waste to Best Environment Action Group in action using this donkey to collect waste from the estates. However, theirs is not a donkey work. They move from house to house picking waste, rest it finds its way into undesignated areas. After the cart is full, the waste is taken to the segregation center where it is separated. James Kagwe, who runs this project since 2006, says their mission is to ensure that no waste finds its way into dump site as it can be well managed, focusing on circular economy and at the same time addressing methane gas pollution. If we visit our dumping site, uh, there is a lot of very bad smells coming from there because of the organic waste. Over 70% of urban domestic household waste is organic. So if we don't do intervention of that, it means all that amount of 70% goes to the dump site. And because it is not managed in the proper way, it is going to rot under the, the system, we call it anaerobic. And then that kind of anaerobic is very harmful, producing a lot of methane gas in the atmosphere. <laughs> Separating the garbage is a very tedious job that requires one to be careful not to hurt themselves. Chupa kama inakufa. Ikikufa anaweka ndani ya mauti. Sasa unajua wewe hujui. Sasa wafagine unakanyaga unakuta hiyo chupa inakukata mgu. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC assessment report says that methane gas is a potent greenhouse gas which is 28 times more effective in trapping heat in the atmosphere compared to carbon dioxide. Methane is the primary contributor to the formation of ground-level ozone, a hazardous air pollutant and greenhouse gas exposure to which causes one million premature deaths every year globally. Methane is also a powerful greenhouse gas. Over a 20-year period, it is 80 times more potent at warming than carbon dioxide, according to the United Nations Environment Programme, UNEP. It is on this backdrop that Kagwe and his team recycle organic waste to make compost, which is later used in farming, instead of allowing it to rot in the open, releasing methane gas in the atmosphere. We have done a uh, training on a lot of training on composting. You can get there is no any smell of coming from there because we are composting in the proper way. So with that now you see, when you make that compost, it goes back again to the environment. Compost is a known soil fixer. Kawe uses it at his fruit forest. That one again is reducing the carbon footprint because that amount of manure now, it reduces the use of chemical fertilizers. And manufacturing of chemical fertilizers is highly uh, consuming a lot of fossil fuels. So if we can go this way now, we can be able to fix our soils. Also, the health of our food would be great with the use of the compost, more than using of the chemical fertilizers. So we are reducing a lot of methane, which is a greenhouse gas, 
to the atmosphere when we do the composting of the organic waste. <laughs> but the food waste is used to feed animals. So as to encourage segregation of waste from household level, Kawe has introduced these bags in houses where he picks waste. We get our waste and bought in our kotak toka kwa plot, it was segregated at the source. So to majoribu this model hapa, I'm about to me to nataka wa segregate between wet waste na dry waste. So wet waste basically ni the food waste. Kwa hivyo wanakuja wana 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 mwaga on the food waste hapa. Naona bado kidogo wanachanganya. It is not easy as people still mix waste in these bags. Kawe says the culture of poor waste management by Kenyans will take time to fix, but he is set to soldier on. Every plot, we are going to make a garden like this. The county allows from your wall to one and a half meters you can put a flower, a flower bed here. In a bin to encourage a green town, the team is planting gardens at the edge of the plots where tenants can enjoy fruits and vegetables once they mature. We are putting an edible garden. So this is an edible means mm -hmm. we can eat from this garden. Yes. So every plot we are going to put two fruit trees. Like in this plot here, mm -hmm. we have put mulberry. This is the first one there. Mm -hmm. And the second one here is pomegranate. Kilion Nyambuga from Voices of Just Climate Action and Slam Dwellers International says they support more than 30 groups involved in waste management in Naivasha sub-county. In terms of our work, we were pushing for uh, the groups to be able to be accountable in terms of contributing to the cl uh, climate action at the local level, but also being able to also having the capacity to be able to access the climate change financing to be able to scale up their uh, intervention at the local level. Nyambuga adds that having the communities understand climate change and its effects on them is key in addressing waste management challenges facing cities and towns. Climate change discussion uh, before 2021 and uh, before we started engaging in Naivasha, uh, it was more of high-level discussion. So going to the different communities, they are getting, having that understanding of uh, relating whatever they are doing at the local level to the climate action uh, was uh, kind of difficult at the beginning. And uh, with the continuous awareness at the local level, then they have been able to understand the climate change. Addressing organic waste pollution is not only good for the atmosphere, but also a way of job creation to address the gap in unemployment. Dan Kaburu K24, Naivasha, Nakuru County.